Hi beauties, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Hello, how you doing, baby? I hope you are having a great weekend, whatever you are doing. I'm going to be having a busy weekend, so hopefully I get this video actually up during the weekend, okay? And my face might look a little crazy, a little unhinged, a little extra red today and bumpy because I challenged myself to do 24 hours of makeup. I know that might sound crazy, but I barely got any content done this week. So I really wanted to get some stuff done. And I was like, shit, I'm all, I'm all in it to win it, baby. We gonna do 24 hours and see what we can get done. And this is look number three. So my face, she, she is not liking it, but I am. No, but seriously, I had so many looks I want to get done this week. And then I ended up not even doing makeup Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So I was like, 24 hours, baby. Let's go. We're going to get some looks done. But that's besides the point. If you want to see that video, you can head over to my TikTok today, y'all. We are going to be playing around with some Pacifica Beauty. I personally have never tried anything from Pacifica Beauty. I've never even tried anything. I, I think they have like skincare. I've never tried anything from them at all. And they reached out to me and wanted to send me a package. And I was like, hell yes. I love trying new makeup. Y'all know me. And I also love reviewing and trying new makeup here on my channel. So I haven't dove into any of this yet. It's all still packaged up. I literally just got it either yesterday or the day before. And I was like, why not? Let's sit down, make a YouTube video playing with Pacifica Beauty for the first time. Hell yeah. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure that you press that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video, baby. Also, if you haven't already and you're into makeup transition videos, you're into mini reviews, tutorials, good things like that, you can check out my Instagram and TikTok. They will be linked down below for y'all. Now, I'm so excited because we have so much new stuff to play with. So let me go ahead and put on these brows and let's jump into it, baby. I'm trying to film on my back camera again. So I hope that the lighting looks good because my lighting got a little weird when I was finishing up filming last time. So sorry, my lamp. But anyways, Pacifica Beauty, they sent over quite a bit of stuff, you guys. Almost enough stuff to do a full face, I want to say. Or it might be... No, because we're missing, like, mascara and stuff like that. But we literally have, like, these bronzers. We have blushes. These are, like, cream or, like, putty blushes or something. I think this is, like, a skin tint. There's a setting powder, a palette, concealer. So we have plenty of stuff to try out today. Y'all know I like to start with the eyes. And today we're doing something simple because I've already done two other, like, creative makeup looks today and I don't feel like doing another one so today we're gonna do something simple because we did get these eye pencils and I kind of want to do like a pop of color in the waterline this is the animal magic eyeshadow palette it says there is how many shades it doesn't say how many shades are in the palette, I don't think, on the packaging, but there is 28 shades in here. And, and I'm not really sure what all the prices are either because I haven't looked yet personally. So I will make sure to leave all of that link down below for y'all as well. Gosh, I can't get this out. There we go. <laughs> this is what it looks like right here. I will say it does feel kind of cheap. I'm not sure how cheap Pacifica is honestly but this little thing just slides right out and then there's a hole in your palette and yeah I don't know but I will say some of the shades in here are super pretty this definitely won't be a palette that I will go in with every single day well I might if the shimmers are nice because I do like to use different palettes like when I'm doing my makeup I, I usually use like three to four different eyeshadow palettes for one eye just because I'm crazy but you know I'll stay crazy because I swear some shimmers I just want to use more than other shimmers you know what I mean so I have high hopes for the shimmers in here they do look pretty since we have so much to go in with today I don't want to swatch the whole palette but I will do a few swatches for y'all Ooh, that dark shimmer green is so pretty let me do one more we'll do let me do another matte um let's do the shade right off the bat on the fingers Ooh, it looks good on the fingers let's swatch it right here on the back of my hand or arm whatever you want to call that 
Okay, let me see. Last time my lighting got all messed up. Let me fix it again. There we go. I haven't looked at them like close up yet. So give me a minute. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. This is really pretty. It looks like it has like a black undertone. This is that dark green shimmer. Sorry, I fixed the lighting again. It looks like it has like a darker undertone to it, but it is really pretty. It's got like little sparkles in it. This one, it swatched a little weird. So hopefully it does better on the eyes. This Sorry, my cats are running around. <laughs> this one right here is really, really pretty. It kind of has like purple shimmer in it. Like not shimmer, glitter, like little particles in it. And then this one swatched really nicely. Like I said, I want to do something kind of neutral today because I want to do a pop of color in the water lines. So I think the first shade that I'm going to start out with is actually that bare shade that I swatched. First things first, I am just going to prime my eyes. I'm using a white base. I don't really know why, but that's what I'm using today. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be going in with the shade Bare first, and I'm just going to take that. I don't know. I'm debating on all over the eyelid, or should I do another halo eye? I've done two halo eyes the past videos, so I think I'm just going to put it all over the eyelid. Let me grab another brush for that then. Taking this brush actually, and I'm gonna stamp this just all over my lid. Like I said, I'm just doing something super simple with this look. Cause y'all, if I don't, we'll be here all fucking day. Ooh, okay. This has some freaking pigment. Wow, okay. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be bad, but wow. I really can't wait to see what those blues apply like. It is definitely blending out pretty nicely as well. I want y'all to see this up close and hopefully it looks as good as it does in person. This shit looks really nice, honestly. Like, I don't know how expensive this palette is. Maybe I need to look it up real quick. <laughs> I just looked it up, y'all. This baby retails for $24 on their website. Don't know if it would be the same at Ulta, but that's not too bad of a price for, what did I say, 28 shades, I think, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head how many shades the big palettes have from ColourPop, but I feel like this isn't far from the amount of shades it has and from the price of them. To blend out the edges, I'm just going to take a little bit of bunny right here on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend out these edges with this shade, making sure everything is nice and seamlessly blended. Oh, I kind of sound like that one person on TikTok. You know that person that's like going viral right now that has an account that like works at Starbucks and does like the dances and stuff. Oh my God, they're so funny. Okay, this is giving like smoke show a little bit. Like, ooh, little cold tone baddie. Okay. Definitely gonna be going in with that um, bunny shade again, or is that what that was called? I can't even remember y'all, no, bear. I'm gonna be going in with bear again just to deepen it up a little bit more right through here. But baby, baby, I'm loving it. I'm probably gonna end up adding one of these shimmers, especially these like super glittery shimmers. Sorry, I, I'm getting mes mesmerized by the palette. Um, I'm gonna take one of them and probably put it all over the lid. Y'all know I love shimmer, okay? Can't live without. I just realized that last shade we used was not bunny. That was stag. Now we're going to use bunny because that's like this really pretty like gold shimmery one. I want y'all to really see it. Really see it up close. This one right here. Look at that. Look at the way that that is shifting in the light. It's so pretty. And I so I'm just going to take this on my finger, on my thingy. <laughs> Here it is. It's looking really pretty. If you realize I'm not making eye contact with the direct camera, it's because I'm trying to see myself in the mirror to film this oh my lord anyways i'm just gonna place this right in the center of the lid oh shit that's a little more gold than i thought it was gonna be oh shit oh well it's still pretty so i'm still gonna keep placing this all over the lid holy shit oh my god this is so pretty this is kind of like one of those foil eyeshadows you know 
I don't know how to describe it, but when you like place it down, it really like holds to wherever you place it. And when you drag it, it just like drags so smoothly. Oh my gosh. I am super impressed with these eyeshadows so far. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say that I would spend $24 on this palette specifically. Now, if they had more palettes this size with like a more colorful like color story and less neutrals, I'd be all over that. I'd be all down to freaking try that. I want to come up close a little bit because I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but this gold has like green reflectant glitter particles in it. And it's pretty. It's reminding me of um, St. Patrick's Day, which, which is coming up. So I'm going to definitely need to try that out during St. Patrick's Day. For primers today, we're going to be going in with the Vegan Collagen Skin Solve. This says that it primes and blurs and hydrates, which I need all of the above. I do have their website pulled up now, and this baby retails for $14. So I'm assuming this brand is Drugstore. Just because their prices are definitely not as high as high-end makeup, honestly. Anyways, here's what she looks like on my hand. It kind of looks like... It honestly looks like my Smashbox Illuminating um, Moisturizer a little bit. The one that goes with the Smashbox... <laughs> duh, Smashbox. The one that goes with the um, Halo Tinted Moisturizer. That's what it kind of looks like. Ooh, it feels nice on the skin. Kind of has a, mm, it kind of has a skincare smell to it, honestly. Ooh, this feels really, really nice. I definitely have to see how the makeup applies on top, but ooh, I like the way that this feels. There's not really any tackiness, which I do usually like a little bit of tackiness. That's why I go in with my Milk Hydro Grip so much, but it does feel very, very smooth. Definitely need to make sure I get some up in my T-zone because that's where my pores show the most. The next thing that we have are the Sun Dreams bronzers. These are huge, y'all. They are freaking huge. Like, compared to my hand, that's a big bronzer. These retail for $16 a piece. It says there are five shades on their website. Mm, don't really know how I feel about that. Only five shades. Don't know how well it could match everybody. Here is the shade Sandy Kiss. I feel like this one might be the one that I go in with because this one is a little bit too dark. This one is in the shade Glow. I'm going to keep this one closed so I can give it to somebody that I know can use it. For $16, though, I don't think I'm mad at this because this is a lot, it seems like. Like, it's going to take me forever to get through this. I'm just going to go in with a brush like so and i like to contour before i put on my foundation so that's basically what i'm gonna be doing with this baby that's basically what i like to do with my cream bronzers and cream contour okay this is definitely a really pretty color Ooh, this looks nice it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's giving me just like that perfect little shade I need. This is definitely different though. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is a foundation because it's like such a big pot. But I don't know, y'all. I guess I've just like never seen a cream bronzer in this big of, a, of like packaging, I guess. In like a glass container too? Fancy. I don't know if a makeup artist would want to be carrying around this big container. Like if you're a pro makeup artist, but... I think these might be a good thing to look into if you are a pro makeup artist because you could depot them and put them into like a uh, acrylic empty container and stuff like that and you have a lot of freaking product but then again the shade range is kind of kind of disappointing so i don't know if it would be able to work for everybody shoot y'all as i'm blending this out i'm like looking at this ugly ass zip popping up over here but i'm also <laughs> looking at my pores because dang they do look nice with this primer and my skin does feel pretty like hydrated my face is freaking hating me though after all this freaking makeup she's like please stop i can't breathe they sent over these Kine Glaze Dewy Glow Layer Fermented Peptide Barrier Care. Oh, it just doesn't say what it is. <laughs> I'm just over here reading. But I think this is like a skin tint. 
And if you know me, you know I've been really into skin tints, especially the Smashbox one. It's like one of my favorite right now, the Halo Tinted Moisturizers. Yeah, she's that bitch. I cannot get this out either. Oh, oh, got it. This is such a cute little bottle. Hold on, there we go. This is such a cute little bottle. I think it is adorable for $16 don't know about that though don't know about that so i'm gonna shake this up and i need to make sure it's at least close to my shade hopefully not too light not too dark so this is actually not a skin tint y'all i told y'all i have never tried this brand before i have no freaking idea we're all learning today this says skincare meets makeup in this dreamy glaze for the ultimate in Wait, wait, wait. Did I read that right? Skincare meets makeup in this dreamy glaze for the ultimate in dewy skin plus barrier care. Kind to skin ingredients to help support a healthy skin barrier and create a dewy soft focus finish that illuminates skin in an instant okay well so i'm assuming this is like a primer or something that you can use on those like little to no makeup days just to have like a little barrier on your skin to have it protected and to make it glowy looking i've never heard of anything like this honestly let me know down in the comments if you have i don't know what the hell this is i am still honestly confused like it's just a glaze Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to use this as a skin tint. And I already put the other primer on, so I don't really want to, like, mess it up. Because I think my skin does look really nice right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on foundation and then uh, powder bronzer. And we can get back to trying some other goodies. Really quickly, I did want to show y'all what my skin was looking like with the foundation on. Like, in the primer. So, you could just look and see i honestly think it's looking pretty nice my pores obviously they're still there they're not gonna vanish but like they are looking minimal and yeah i'm looking dewy so i'm not mad at it moving on to the concealer okay y'all i love concealer this is the pacifica dream lit glow concealer corrector on their website again there's only five freaking shades um and two of them are out of stock, the two darkest shades, so. It's 2023, we can't, we can't have more than five shades. Come on now. But anyways, this retails for $16. Packaging is 1010. This is like glass. I have never had a glass concealer ever in my life. This bitch has got some freaking weight to it. And it honestly looks like it's gonna be a pretty good concealer shade for me i'm not gonna lie this one is in the shade 11 now on their website it only has five shades but why does this say shade 11 is there more than five shades because i'm confused confused so much right now i go in with this under eye brightener almost every single day now from uh this one is from the brand becca but becca isn't around anymore so smashbox is currently selling it um, I've been going in with this a lot lately, just right up under my eyes before I put on concealer and I'm going to place it down just on this one side so I can see if there's any difference between this being under it and this not being underneath it. See, see if it really covers up these bags. Y'all, I did not go in with the right foundation shade. I thought it was the right one because when I swatched it, it looked really good but it oxidized <laughs> so now i'm looking a little orange now let's go in with this bad boy dofa is cute it's nice and it's got like the round tip but it's flat on both sides i honestly like that because i feel like it's a lot easier to like apply right here and then also on your nose especially when it's like flat up here I'm just gonna put a little bit on both sides I kind of do wish this concealer was just a tad bit lighter just because I like a super bright under eye, but that's just my preference, y'all. I feel like I still do like 2016 makeup mixed with a little bit of 2023 makeup. <laughs> Now I do like to let my concealer sit for just like a minute or two, just so that it gets a little bit more opaque and we get a little bit more coverage under those under eyes. I'm just blending that concealer in and it looks nice blended out. It almost looks a little bit lighter blended out than it did like just me placing it on the skin. 
Let's blend in the color correct side first and see what that looks like. Okay, I honestly like the way that this looks a lot. I don't know if it's like the primer with it too, but the way that it, my under eyes look right now, can you tell the lighting? It's so weird, why does it do that? Right here, it looks really dewy and it also looks like, hello, where's the eye bags? Hello, she's actually had some sleep. <laughs> now let's blend this side and see if there's really any difference. And blend. Okay, this is both before setting powder. So let's see if we see a difference. Do you see a difference? Miss Ma'am, do you see a difference? Hold on, I feel like my lighting's being stupid again. But do you see a difference? I honestly, I don't think I can really tell a difference. Maybe a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit right in here. But that's about it, honestly. They both look really nice. So I'm here for this concealer. I'm definitely gonna have to try her out a bit more, especially because I feel like I don't go in with like the same base routine every day. I have a few products that I like a lot and I like to swish them up a bit, especially when it comes to my base. I like to switch it up like as much as possible. So I'm definitely gonna have to try this concealer out, especially with my Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer that I was just talking about. I feel like I go in with that the most. So I'm definitely gonna have to see uh, how this looks on top of that foundation. But nonetheless, this is what the skin is looking like a little up close and personal even though we are, are having some like breakouts and stuff right now and my face is not loving all this makeup I still feel like my skin is looking really nice especially right in here which I have the most issues with so I'm loving it y'all I literally forgot to go in with these blushes do you see these how did I forget blush is like my favorite freaking step I swear so these are the fluffy blushies. It looks like they have five colors available of these as well. These are $11 a piece. And these are like a cream blush formula. Ah, I'm so excited for these. Y'all know. Y'all know I like my blush. Just opened her up. Oh, okay. It almost looks like a little lip balm up in there. Ooh, okay, I want to open this one too. I'm going to be keeping both of these. I can't help myself when it comes to blush. I'm definitely a hoarder. I'm a makeup hoarder in general, but when it comes to blush, baby, this one is super, super pretty as well. I really don't even know what shade I want to go into because this one is like reminding me of coral orangey and this one's reminding me of berry. And those are like my two favorite blush shades. Pacifica, how did you feel? freaking out how did you know girl these are my two favorite shades of blush this one is pink haze i kind of want to swatch them for you really quick i don't even know if i can because oh here we go because of these nails but i got my little pinky finger in there so let's see what this looks like what the hell hold on hold on my eyes gotta be playing tricks on me hold on oh shit Okay, well, this is definitely, oh, I got it all up under my nail. This is definitely interesting. I swatched it while well, I tried to swatch it like a few times right here. Didn't really get much. Didn't really get much. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this shade and see if we get any payoff on the cheeks. Lord have mercy. I hope we do because I'll be disappointed. I was so excited for these. Okay, I'm going in with a pretty dense Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to dip straight into that pan. I'm really going to swirl it in there because why the hell not? It picked up quite a bit on the brush when I did that. So let's see. Oh, okay, Miss Girl. She said, bitch, try me on your cheeks first and then talk to me. And then talk to me. She definitely isn't like the brightest blush in the world but she's pretty it definitely leaves you like a little flush of something i definitely feel already like from this brand from the things i've tried so far and the th products that we've gotten i feel like this brand is a clean makeup brand like a simple makeup like not too much not too heavy on the eyeshadow kind of makeup like that kind of makeup and honestly we love a good casual makeup baby girl you know you know what kind of makeup we do around here miss cake 
I built her up a little bit, y'all. This is like three or four layers. She is definitely a lot brighter. This is more up my alley than like the subtle blush. I really like a lot of blush. That's just me. They did send over a setting powder, which I'm excited because honestly, I don't try new setting powders often. I pretty much just go in with my Cody Airspun like all the freaking time. Like that's what I've been using since I started makeup and that's what I'll continue to use, honestly. I just love it. But this is the Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. Now, this is very, very white in the container. So, I don't know how much I'm going to like this. Let's hope that it doesn't have a cast. Damn. Okay, you guys. This says that it's originally $12 on their website. But right now, it's only $8.40. And it says that all sales are final. So, I'm assuming this is going to be discontinued. I don't know if it was limited edition or anything, but this is what the packaging is like. It has that like mesh in the middle so that you could just pat your sponge right on top or your little whatever this thing is called. I can't think of it right now. Surprisingly enough, this setting powder doesn't come with one of these little powder puffs. That's the name. But um, I'm going to be going in with one anyways because that's how I like to do my setting powder. I like to just take a little bit on the sponge and tap. Holy shit. This shit. Oh, this smells really good. I don't know if it smells like cherries or like cherry blossom, but it smells good, girl. Anyways, I like to tap off the excess on the back of my hand, and then I like to just go right in. I need to fix some of my creases real quick. Fix all that crease, maybe, because that concealer, she is creasy. And I just like to pat it right in. I can't get over the smell. It smells like... A perfume honestly it's so sweet y'all I think I lied because this powder is pretty it's kind of reminding me of the Oma Beauty trip and smooth setting powder like it's super finely milled so it doesn't really leave a cast I obviously have to like wipe the excess off right now but damn look at that blurring that it did it blurred my skin even more from that like primer and then the setting powder on top it's like pores. Bitch, who are you? I'm actually just going to finish off by setting the rest of my face with this powder because surprisingly, I like it. So far, we shall see <laughs> how it holds up. I won't really be going anywhere with this makeup, but ah! how it holds up through the rest of me filming. <laughs> My base is pretty much done, everything except for highlighter. So I'm going to go in with the Vegan Collagen Hydrating Setting Mist. Y'all, after this powder, like the matte setting powder, I definitely need some more hydration back into my skin. This baby retails for $10, and this is glass as well. This brand is giving, like, high-end drugstore, and I'm kind of here for it. I do want to see what this smells like. Everything else smells good, so... Mmm, it kind of just smells like the primer, honestly. Oh, I love the mist. It's like a true mist when it sprays out on your face. And it doesn't, like, scorch you in the eyeball. <laughs> I'm going to finish up this eye look with one of these colorful longwear eyeliners. I really wanted to use the mint today, but I'm going to save that for a look that I have coming up. I want to do, a, like, a mint eyeshadow cut crease with some cute little details to it. I think I'm going to go in with the blue today. This is in the shade Ocean. For $11, I definitely would not pay that for like an actual pencil pencil liner, like the old-fashioned pencil liners, because they're not my favorite. I'm about to line my lips with this thing like it's a fucking lip liner. Jesus, I need to go to bed. Let's just see how this pops on. Oh, whoa, that was so easy. Did you see that? Holy shit. These might new, be the new fave. Do they have more colors of these? Wow, that's super bright too. Ooh, I'm here for it. One pop of color and I'm here for it. I take what I said back. I would buy this for $11. <laughs> Just because of the way that it went on. Like I really had to put barely any pressure. You see how much of a tip is still on there? Like barely any pressure and it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I went ahead and lined my lips. They sent over two shades of their glow stick lip oils. Now I have seen a video of these on, I think either TikTok or Instagram. These look 
so intriguing let me tell you i've used lip oils before but i've never seen them come in like the lipstick packaging and like look at this thing it's like a clear it almost looks like jello literally or jolly rancher oh my god it definitely doesn't smell like a jolly rancher should i eat it i wanted to see if these lip oils had any tint to them so this is pale sunset I don't really see anything with that one. And this one is Sunrise. This one looks like it might have a tint. This one does have some color to it. My camera cut off right when I swatched it. So I'm going to use this one today, I think. And I'm literally running out of storage on my phone as we speak. So I'm trying to hurry this video up so I can get it all done. Okay, y'all, it is definitely a lip oil. I like how the one that I use has a little bit of color to it. I think I'm gonna be popping these into my purse just so I can have them on the go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick and I'll be back with my final thoughts and opinions on Pacifica Beauty. Okay, beauties, this is the final look. What do y'all think? I'm honestly obsessed for how light and natural it is, honestly. Now that the sun is going down, the lighting's getting all weird again, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. One of my favorite things that I definitely tried today is this um, eyeliner in the waterline. These are gonna be my new BF freaking F. I'm not even kidding. The fluffy blushes, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting more from them, but like I said, I'm pretty sure Pacifica is like a clean beauty, little to no makeup brand, and if you're somebody that likes that, then you're definitely gonna like these. Obviously, I've only been wearing this makeup for a few hours, but so far, I really, really enjoy this Vegan Collagen Skin Solve. It's a really, really nice primer. Like, my pores, they look snatched, baby. I'm definitely gonna have to play around with this concealer more, but I honestly think it looks divine under my eyes. Like, chef's kiss, maybe? And this setting powder, I am shooketh. I am shooketh that I actually like this because of how white it is. I was so scared. But look at that, baby. She looks gorge! Nonetheless, I want to say a huge thank you to Pacifica Beauty for sending all of these goodies over. I had such a fun time trying everything out, and I really hope that I can try more from your brand in the future. Also, a huge thank you to you beauties, because it wouldn't even be possible to receive PR packages like this without your support and your help. So, I truly appreciate you, and I love you so much! But you know the drill. If you did enjoy this video and you want to let me know, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a pink heart in the comments if you stay here to the end. I love you beauties so freaking much and I will see you next week with another new video. Bye beauties!